I think that there is great wisdom in that traditional Christmas carol, Silent Night. I think that you can only find the virgin and her child if you also make time for silence. So that's what we're going to do now. Amidst the Christmas rush, a moment of Christmas hush. We will pause to let the immensity of what God has done for us at Christmas sink in. And as we stay silent for just 30 seconds, we ask for the graces of awe and wonder and gratitude. We pause for silence. Grateful for what God has done for us, let us now begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We started off with a traditional Christmas carol, Silent Night. And now we go to an OPM carol, Paskuna Sintako. I think that Paskuna Sintako is God's song to us this Christmas. Paskuna Sintako, hanap, hanap kita. And God is seeking us out, looking for us. That's the main reason why He became human, to find us. We don't always make it easy for God, though. In the hustle and bustle of the season, Sometimes we lose our way. We lose what is important. We get lost. So we pause now to let God catch up and find us. We pause now. We admit that we have not prioritized God all the time. So now we ask for His pardon and for His mercy. You came to reveal to us the love of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to bring peace to the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You came to console those who are afflicted and rejected. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And together we praise our God. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, the highest, highest, and on and earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature, and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him 
who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is King. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins in Jerusalem. For the Lord comforts his people, he redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Our second reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son, whom he made higher of all things, and through whom he created the universe. Who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word? When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the earth. For today, a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him, nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, 
who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. And we saw His glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And the Word became flesh and made this dwelling among us. One word that can summarize that verse is incarnation. Incarnation. That may seem like a horribly abstract word, but if you go back to the roots of that word, incarnation, it is actually very, very concrete. What is the root word of incarnation? Karne. At ngayong Pasko, ang Diyos naging karne. God has become flesh. God has become human. to help my students of long ago really feel the immensity of this great gift, I made them go through an exercise. And the exercise was this. Tell me all of the disadvantages of being flesh. Tell me all the disadvantages of being human. Tell me all the disadvantages of God being carne. And because these were high school students, the first answer that I got was B.O. I remember taking a deep breath then and I said, I know why you said B.O. Does your God have B.O.? And I think we have to say, yes. He was in the desert with no deodorant. And that's part of being flesh, of being carne. From B.O., we went to more unpleasant things like flatulence and diarrhea. And then we went on to harder things like toothaches. Do you remember when you had your last toothache? Ang sakit, di ba? Isang sakit na hindi mo matanggal. And then we went to stomach aches and headaches. And our God, must have gone through all of those too. We went deeper and deeper. What else are the disadvantages of being carne, of being flesh, of being human? Death. And when God became human in Jesus, there was that possibility of death, a possibility that became reality. Jesus did not experience getting old, but I am sure he felt his knees getting weaker and weaker as he went up that hill of Calvary. He felt his lungs giving out as he hung there on the cross. Everything that we go through as human beings, God went through in Jesus. What else are the disadvantages of being carne, of being flesh, of being human? I remember one particularly insightful student of mine raising his hand and saying, what's the disadvantage of being human? Other humans. And he was very, very right. And Jesus went through the pain that other humans bring. We see it in our gospel today. His own people did not accept him. One of his closest allies betrayed him. On the cross, his closest friends abandoned him. He was persecuted by his enemies, mocked. He went through the pain of other humans. But I did not want to be a downer to my students then. I don't want to be a downer now because it's Christmas. So from there, let's go to another exercise. What are the advantages of being carne? 
of being flesh, of being human. What's so good about having a body? I remember my uh, high school students, because they were high school students, started answering you know, flatulence. And yes, there might be some weird pleasure in that. But I said, come on, what else are the other uh, uh, advantages of being human? And somebody said, being tickled. And isn't that a great thing about having a body? Can you imagine Mary and Joseph tickling the baby Jesus and the baby Jesus giggling and later on laughing? Isn't that another great thing about having a body, of having lungs and a throat and a mouth, that you can laugh? When was the last time you really, really laughed? Imagine, God must have laughed too. What? else are the other advantages of being flesh. I'm sure you've been doing it quite a lot these past few days. Eating. And our God, Jesus, ate too. In fact, some people thought he ate too much and accused him of being a glutton. What else are the other advantages of having a body? I think it's working with your hands and coming up with something that you can be proud of. And you can imagine Jesus as a boy learning the trade of carpentry from his father Joseph, working with his hands, coming up with perhaps something not so perfect, but improving his skill until he became better and better. What else are the advantages of having a body? I remember my young, insightful student raising his hand again. What are the advantages of being human? Other humans. And I thought, yes, yes. And that's why God went through all of the disadvantages of being human so that he can be human with other humans. God went through all the disadvantages of having a body so He can be with you. And that's not just a generic, faceless you. That's a specific and personal you. God became human to be with you. This celebration we started off with that traditional uh, Christmas carol, Silent Night. And then we went to Pasko na Sintako. Let me share with you now my Christmas carol for this year. What Christmas carol is this? Let's go pop. Let's go K-pop to be more exact. It's the song by BTS entitled Love Myself. It's mostly in Korean, but one English line goes, you've shown me reasons that I should love myself. You've shown me reasons I can love myself. And that one big reason is, well, you went through all of that to be with me. You know, I think that's why reunions are so powerful. We go through traffic. We go through hours and hours stuck in a vehicle not moving. Why? To be with the people that we love. When you attend a reunion, that's what you're saying. You're worth all that time. I want to be with you. Now project that to God. He traverses all of the cosmos, that great divide between what separates divinity and humanity to be with us. That's how much He loves us. That's the proof we have a reason to love ourselves because God finds us lovable. And this will be part one of your homework. 
to tell yourself, you are lovable. You don't have to have that many followers. You don't have to have that many likes. You don't have to be the best in anything that you do. God loves you as you. You are lovable. Lovable enough to go through all of that. To be with you. You are lovable. Which brings me to part two of your Christmas homework. God loves you. That's not just an individual you though. That's also a collective you. A collective you we share with everyone else. And so your Christmas homework is this. To tell somebody who needs to hear it. You are lovable. If you ask me, that's the best Christmas greeting. Not Merry Christmas, not Maligayang Pasko, but that you are lovable. God loves you. Tonight, before you sleep, give yourself a treat. Look up that song, Love Myself by BTS. Maybe Google the lyrics and then let them sink in. I'm going to take off now from the lyrics sung by Jimin and Jungkook. Make them your own. Taking off from how they sing this song, open your eyes in the darkness. And sometimes the darkness isn't just outside you. The darkness is inside you. Open your eyes to that darkness. Your heartbeat may sound unfamiliar. But look at yourself in the mirror. There may be fear in your eyes as you ask this big question. BTS doesn't explicitate the question. But I think the question is this. Am I lovable? Am I loved? And Christmas is the assurance that you are. You are loved. And I hope you get in touch with that. Not for any selfish reason. You've heard it said. Hurt people hurt people but also loved people love people know that you are loved loved by God and then tell that to somebody else you are loved that is Christmas. We now profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, God Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. We pause now and we let these words sink in. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was, he was crucified, crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried and rose, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our hearts are filled with joy and love on this Christmas day when we commemorate and relive in ourselves the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With trust-filled hearts, let us address our petitions to the Father who gave us His only Son, and we say, Most loving Father, hear our prayer. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. Our heart... Uh, for the church, the home of all believers, may she enjoy days of peace and may holiness flourish abundantly in all her members. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, our bishops, the priests who work in our parish and their generous collaborators, may the joy of this day bring them the strength they need to continue serving the people of God. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. For our civil authorities and all those in whose hands is the fate of billions of people, may the Christmas ideals of peace and brotherhood constantly guide their decisions. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. For our families, especially the ones that may be undergoing severe crises, May the spirit of Christmas enable them to overcome all difficulties. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. We also include in our intentions those celebrating their birthdays today. Noel Cabangon, Lord Bantoto, Rachel Christine Jeronimo. For the healing of Teddy Patag, Rika Trota, Linda Ferrer, Jenny Tan. For the repose of the souls of Romulo Kionisala Jr., Romulo Kionisala Sr., Purificacion Sia, and Luz Viminda Kionisala. For the special intentions of Miko Ramos and family, Rose Papa and family, Jerry and Harriet Tan and family, and for all intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Rajo Katipunan. Let us pray. Most loving Father, hear our prayer. Lord God, you are the source of our hope and salvation. May this Christmas produce in our hearts a lasting disposition of joy and peace until we celebrate it in heaven. We ask this through Christ, your Son and our brother, the star of our Christmas, who lives and shines forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day, when you manifest the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurate for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, you pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Let's get a head start on our Christmas homework. We pause for a few moments. Think of somebody in your life who needs to hear these words. You are lovable. You are loved. Think of that person now. And in your heart, wish that person peace. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Behold Jesus, the God who has become human to be with us, to love us. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Just a brief announcement before the final blessing. The past uh, nine days, Radio Katipunan has been giving away Pamaskong Handog for nine communities. We thank everyone, and we have a video tribute, especially for those who have donated, contributed to our project. Thank you so much. For the third consecutive Advent, Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM and the Jesuit Communications Foundation is staging once again our Pamaskong Handog initiative. Like before, we have identified nine community beneficiaries and each would receive Christmas Noche Buena packs worth 400 pesos each. We've begun reaching out to these communities across the metro and delivering these care packages to them. Maraming salamat po sa donation po ng Jeskom. Sa pamamagitan ng Jeskom ay may 100 food basket na may lalaan po ng Caritas na Palucha sa uh, Holy Spirit Parish Pangarap Village po. Uh, so, matutuwa po ang mga pamilya po doon at sila Father Eric na nag 
pamunuan as much basically doon sa parangkla na yun. Uh, pagkakataon po magpasalamat sa mga donors and sponsors po nito Panoche Vena package po para sa kanila. So maraming maraming salamat po in behalf of Bishop Robbie Gaa and Father Joseph Puslot ng Caritas ng Balichas. Thank you! Maraming salamat sa Radyo Katipunan sa inyong initiative para kami ay tulungan. Maraming salamat at kami po ang napili ninyo na community para maging beneficiary ng inyong Christmas package. Maraming salamat. Marami po ang matutulungan nito dito sa aming pamayanan. At sa inyong pong mga donors din, maraming salamat. Once again, thank you so much for choosing us. Kami po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa mga online parishioners ng Keep the Faith Parish po. Gayun din po sa Radyo Katipunan at sa lahat po ng mga tumulong at nagbigay po sa amin ng pamastong handog. Ito po ay isang malaking tulong po lalo na po sa aming center. Maraming maraming salamat po muli. Maligayang Pasko at maligong bagong taon. Thank you! Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagkakataon na Binigyan niyo ulit kami ng pagkakataon na magkaroon ng pamasuhan dog para sa aming mga pag-singer sa nasa sakupan ng St. Joseph. Maraming maraming salamat po na sa pagbilikong sa mga pamigay na to. Kung hindi po dahil sa inyo, ay wala po kami ganito. Marami pong mapapasayang pamilya nito, Father. Maraming salamat po. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Maraming maraming salamat po talaga. We want to take the time to thank all our donors shown here. If you can find it in your heart to reach out to these communities, we would be happy to receive your donations. The details on how you can help are shown here on the screen and on our Facebook pages. Many thanks for your generosity this Christmas season. Christmas is when God goes through the disadvantages of being human for that one advantage to tell us humans that we are lovable, that we are loved. Do not let this season pass without telling somebody who needs to hear it. You are lovable. You are loved. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. When he came to us as man, the Son of God scattered the darkness of this world and filled this holy day with his glory. May he scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your hearts with holiness. Amen. God sent his angels to shepherds to herald the great joy of our Savior's birth. May He fill you with joy and make you heralds of His gospel. Amen. When the Word became man, earth was joined to heaven. May He give you His peace and goodwill and fellowship with all the heavenly host. Amen. It, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Let us now go and know always we are loved. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Yeah.